This man was killed more than a decade ago, and now his mother is hoping she can finally solve his murder with money. Now, this crime has haunted her each and every day all these years. But now this mother is hoping to get the answers she's been so desperately searching for. News 5's Tracy Carlos is in our newsroom right now. And Tracy, she's offering a pretty big reward in this case. Yes, she is. It is $100,000 of her own money for the answers that she's been searching for for 13 years. It's the first thing I think about in the morning. It's the last thing I think about at night. Yvonne Nasca is talking about the murder of her 30-year-old son, Vincent. I don't know. All I do is pray. And then I think the only way I'll ever find it is when I die. I'll find out. I'll get justice. Her tears are for her son, but she cries for justice. There's just part of me whenever I go and visit the grave. I just, just want it. When it tell him I'm really trying to get justice. An August evening in 2005, Vincent Nasca left his home on Kiwani Avenue in Euclid to buy cigarettes just down the street. When he didn't come home, his fiance called Yvonne, his employer, and then police. And for Yvonne, that's when the nightmare of this murder mystery began. His body found in a field at East 92nd in Holton, he had been shot. When I had to identify him in the morgue, oh boy. I had, I had to have a closed casket for him. Yvonne told me Vincent worked two jobs, was about to be married. He was happy, kind, and generous. When somebody just decides to take somebody else's life for no reason, but it's always back here, always in the back of my mind. She told me his body was at the morgue unidentified for weeks because his ID was missing. The car was found at an impound lot. It was burned out. She is frustrated with Cleveland police and the lack of answers for more than 13 years. I know that Vince wasn't the only one, and it stacks up, and then they get shoved underneath and shoved underneath the files. But Vincent was her only son. I lost my chance to be a grandma. Now this mother's love will not allow her to stop searching for answers. The time goes goes by. You don't have any malice. You just want to understand why it happened. Why did that person think his life was worthless? I reached out to Cleveland police. They told me this case is open, but they don't have any new leads. Yvonne is offering the reward money herself. But if you have any information about this case, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. Tips can remain anonymous. In the newsroom, Tracy Carlos, News 5.